class. Um, we are going to begin today on our backs, so we'll just get cozy on the floor. However you like, maybe with legs up long, maybe knees bent, soles of the feet planted on the floor, letting the legs fall in towards one another. And letting the arms fall wherever they may. If you're comfortable doing so, you can close the eyes. And just start to tune the outside world out. And bring the attention inward. Turning down the volume in the mind. Noticing where the body connects to the floor. The feeling of your clothes against your skin. The feeling of air passing through your nostrils or lips as you breathe. Noticing what sounds you can hear in your space. Maybe they're inside the room with you. Maybe they're coming from further away. Making note of them rather than trying to block them out, simply allowing them to be there with you. to consciously lengthen and deepen the breath, inhaling through the nose and exhaling through the nose. And then next we'll inhale to a count of four and exhale to a count of four. Breath. Maybe bringing a slight constriction to the back of the throat. So that your inhales and exhales are just audible to you.
and letting that go. If you close the eyes, we'll bring the palms to cup over the eyelids. And then blink the eyes open before removing hands. Next inhale, we'll take a long body stretch, bending legs out towards the bottom of your mat, fingertips up overhead. And then we'll exhale to walk hands and feet over to the right, keeping hips where they are, coming into supine banana pose. Option here to cross the left ankle over. Press the left wrist with the right hand. Lengthening the left side of the body. Next inhale, we'll bring hands and feet to center. And then exhale them over to the left. We'll be setting up, maybe crossing right ankle over, crossing that right wrist. Opening up the right side. Next inhale, we'll move to center. And then we'll exhale to so draw knees in towards the chest, wrapping arms around shins. Holding here our little egg, little ball. And your next inhale, we're going to send legs out. Long arms out wide. Well, both legs and arms are wide actually coming into a supine star. So taking up as much space as you can on the floor. Reaching through fingertips, reaching through toes. Inhale. Exhale, tug everything in, coming back into that egg shape. Inhale, the star. Expanding. Exhale to contract. One more like that. Inhale to expand. Exhale to contract. And then this time we'll just roll to either side with our bent legs and press ourselves up into a seated position. Coming into our sit bones. And then we setting up a prop on your hips. To make ourselves more comfortable. And from our tall seat, we'll inhale to open our arms out to a T, palms face forward. Exhale to bring palms together in front of us, rounding the shoulder blades, tucking the chin. Inhale to open and lift. Maybe lifting the chin and the gaze. And exhale to round forward. This time we can round through the lower and mid back as well, so curling the whole spine. Inhale to arch. Open the collarbone, open the throat. 
and exhale to curl. I'm just taking a couple more like that. And then after your last round, we'll come back to neutral, roll up the shoulders. One direction, and then the other. And then letting that go. And it will plant a left fingertips, or palm, depending on your reach, on the ground alongside our left hip. And then sweep right arm up and over, and then drop the right palm behind the back of the head, bringing the palm to connect with the back of the skull. From here, we will inhale to press the head and palm into one another, creating a little bit of tension. And then we'll exhale to twist over to the left, bringing that uh, right elbow to point towards the uh, short side of the neck. Inhale to open, feeling that tension with the palm pressed against the back of the head. And exhale to twist. And open. Exhale, twist. And open. And exhale, twist. Now release the right hand down to the floor. Inhale to lengthen through the spine. And then exhale to walk hands forward, pausing at center to fold over our legs. The option here to grab a block to rest the forehead on. Or simply let the head hang, allow gravity to deepen the opening in the hip. Inhale, start to press through the palms to lift the forehead back up and walk hands back in towards the body. Find our seated position once again. And we'll plant right fingertips on the floor alongside us and inhale to sweep left arm up, bending at the elbow and dropping left palm behind the back of the head. Inhale to Press palm into the head, creating that tension, creating lift. And then exhale to twist over to the right, closing that elbow as we move. Inhale to open. Exhale to twist. Inhale to open. Exhale to twist, really letting the Mid body drive the movement and the depth of the twist here. Inhale to open. Exhale, twist. Last one. Inhale to open. Exhale, twist. And then we'll release that left palm or fingertips towards the floor. Inhale to lengthen and then exhale to walk hands back to center. Folding over legs. Again, setting up and up. Here, to support if you would like.
down and hit the neck. Inhale, we'll start to press back up. Sorry, sorry. And then removing the any prop you have under the hip now. We'll walk um, and should do this actually come forward first. We're gonna come to seated on our shifty pose. Um the hero's pose. Um, so shins on the floor, thumbs to the feet to the floor. And then we'll walk our hands back behind us, bending palms for fingertips right under the shoulders. We're moving towards reclined hero's pose. And as we find ourselves in this shape, we'll inhale to lift the hips away from the heels. Any amount might not go very far. And then exhale to lower. Inhale to lift. Exhale to lower. Inhale to lift. Exhale to lower. We'll do two more like that. Inhale, lift. Exhale to lower. Inhale to lift. Just opening the front of the body here. And then exhale to lower. We'll walk hands back up towards the knees. And then I'll turn to the bed. We'll bring toes together to touch. Widen these out a little bit further. And then ground the forehead into child's pose. And finding some moments of stillness. On reconnecting to the breath. Noticing again where the body connects to the floor. One more full breath here. And then your next inhale will lift back up to all fours, right into tabletop. And then we'll just take some organic movement here. That might be cat cow, arching and curling the spine, maybe moving side to side or rolling through the upper body, rolling the shoulders, maybe moving forward and back. Just doing what feels natural. The body knows what it wants. Quieting down enough to be able to listen to it. And then we'll make our way back to a neutral tabletop. Shoulders stacked over wrists, hips stacked over knees. We'll inhale here. And then exhale to bring the right foot in between the hands. We'll bump forward a little bit to come into a low lunge. From here, you want to bring a block under the hand, you can, or you can keep both palms pointed on the floor. We'll have a little bit of time in this 
low one, so you can customize that to whatever you'd like. Maybe you can hand print it, maybe one hand comes up the right knee, maybe you open up to a twist. And exhale, and then if you use the block or something else under your hand or under that, and then bring that right knee back to the left, moving back through our tabletop. So if we're coming into the other side, inhale, and then exhale to move the right to the left. Taking one more full breath on the side. And then moving any props off to the side. We'll exhale to extend the right knee back to me. To the left knee back to the right. Inhale and then reach for tabletop. And then we'll exhale to sit back on either hip and we'll continue back to. Um, our sits bones, those legs that have been stuck to us. This time, we're going to send the right leg out long or out to out at an angle in front of us. And left sole of the foot connects to the inner right thigh. From here, I'll inhale, arms up overhead. And then exhale to stretch a fold over that right leg. Maybe you bring the bend into the knee and here if you want to put a prop underneath the knee, you can. If you want to use a block or another prop to support the forehead, you can put that up as well. Into a Johnny Shishasana. Letting the upper body round forward, your extended leg.
And one more inhale and exhale on the side. And then on the inhale, we'll press the palms to the spine back upright. Pops out of the way. We'll be bent the right knee and go to the other side. So send the left leg out long. Getting your props in place. Or hold on the second side. And then inhaling arms up overhead. And exhaling to fold over. Reminding ourselves to keep the breath at the forefront of our practice. Inhaling and exhaling deeply and smoothly to be our first priority, no matter what we're doing. And then on your next inhale, pressing through palms to move back to the upright seat. Move our props out of the way. And then we're going to come to our belly. So it doesn't matter how you do it. Rolling down to the mat, knee hips to connect to the floor. We'll prop ourselves up on our forearms, palms face down, finding sphinx pose. Chin comes forward, front of the chest open, gaze a few feet up. Front of you on the floor. And take three full breaths here. And at the bottom of your last exhale, we'll lower the upper body down to the ground. Stacking palms on top of one another and resting the forehead against them, letting the heels fall away from each other. Crocodile pose. Next inhale, lift the forehead back up. And then send the right arm out to a T. Left palm comes to plant under your left shoulder. Right ear, cheek comes down to the mat. And then we'll start to roll over 
onto that right shoulder, bringing the toes to prop up either a bent or straight knee. Coming into our shoulder opening stretch. Simply settling in here. One more full breath on this side. And our exhale brings us back to center, rolling off of the right shoulder, and then switching the knee, left arm out to a T, right palm plant under the right shoulder, rolling on to the left side. Sending the breath again, as always. Let's take one more round of breath. And the bottom of your exhale will roll back to the center, coming off of the shoulder. We will move up to our backs. So, simply rolling over. To a supine position once again. We'll keep knees bent, toes of the feet planted on the floor. And then we'll inhale to cross the right ankle over the left knee, coming into your supine. Figure four, beginning by flexing the right toes energetically crossing the right knee away from the upper body. And then option to stay right here. Option to start to hug that left knee in towards the chest and maybe wrap fingers or hands around the left thigh. Or start to drop both legs over to the left until maybe the right sole is like connected. Wherever you are, settling in. And letting the breath continue to carry you.
one more inhale. And exhale. And then if you've taken that twist or lifted the left foot away from the ground, we'll find ourselves back in that two front figure four. And then exhale to release the right foot back down to the mat. Before moving to the second side, inhaling to come left ankle over right knee this time. And then starting by just flexing the left toes back and pressing the left knee away from the upper body. Maybe that feels like enough. And if not, you can start to hug right knee in towards the chest, maybe using the hands to assist you or come into a twist, popping both legs over to the right, landing the left sole of the foot on the floor. Full breath as always. Last inhale and exhale. And if you've taken a variation, we'll move ourselves back towards center. Release the left sole of the foot to the floor, keeping the knees bent and both feet planted. We'll grab our block, setting it on either the medium or low height. We'll bring hands alongside the upper body, palms planted firmly on the floor. And then grounding through both heels, soles of the feet, forearms, we'll inhale to lift the hips up towards the sky. And then grabbing our block, we'll slide it right underneath the sacrum to find the supported bridge pose. And letting the hips relax onto the block, keeping the throat open, the chest open, You can stay in your bridge pose for as long as you like. And as you're ready to come out, you can ground through the soles of the feet, press through the heels once again to lift hips away from your block, removing it with the hands. And exhale to roll vertebrae down the ground one at a time. Here, I invite you to take any last bits of movement or any last shapes that you might want for finding your final resting shape. Or if you're ready to move into your Shavasana, you're welcome to do that now as well.
if you haven't already, starting to make your way towards stillness and breath. Letting the eyes fall closed. Letting the whole body simply relax, be held up by the earth. Once again, finding some depth to the breath. Feeling it start to wake up your body again. Taking some small movements in the fingers and toes, wrists and ankles. Rocking head side to side. And starting to bend gently, slowly, wrists, elbows, and knees. And then inhaling to reach arms overhead for a long body stretch. Lengthening through fingers and toes. And then exhaling to roll to either side. Pausing for a moment before pressing yourself up to tall feet. Eyes can stay closed. We'll take a collective breath to feel in our practice today. Bringing hands to heart center and exhaling all the air out of your lungs. Feeling the lift, we'll take a deep inhale through the nose. 
filling belly, ribs, and chest. And then sighing it out the mouth. Tucking the chin. Gently blink eyes open. Bringing gaze back forward. Lifting thumbs to third eye center. As we exhale, we bow forward. Namaste. Thanks for you guys. Happy Friday. Have a good weekend. See you next week.